Okay guys, I'm gonna go over a uh, reproductive tract of male and female and um, and of course uh, go over the mitosis and uh, the model of human development as well. Quickly, I'm calling things from memory what is listed in your lab manual. So let's go over it and uh, the things that I recall. This is the ovary, I hope you can see it, where my pen is, that's the ovary. And that's Fimbria, I don't think it's listed in your uh, lab manual. But this is the oviduct, right here. So this is the oviduct, and this is uterus. Okay, right here, that's uterus. Uh, this is anus, right here, and the uterus right here, that's all I can see. Uh, another ovary, oops, sorry, another ovary right here, and then this is another oviduct. So two ovaries, one on this side, one on that side, two oviduct, one uterus. So let's open it up nice and gently right here. So as I said, this is the ovary, oviduct, uterus, uh, cervix right here, uh, vagina right here, bladder right here, anus right here and uh, then um, on this one uh, right here is again same thing uh, the ovary oviduct uterus uh, cervix vagina uh, bladder right here uh, right here is the vagina again uh, and then this is the rectum okay so that's all I think I asked you guys to know on your uh, lab handle. So that was female uh, reproductive tract. Then the male reproductive tract right here. So again, I have not opened up anything yet. This would be the testes. This would be scrotum. I know I listed these. Uh, scrotum, testes. Um, that would be penis. This would be the gland portion of the penis right here. That would be the shaft. And um, okay, prostate gland right here. Uh, bladder right there. Uh, let's see, and that's all. Okay, when I open it up, right here is the bladder, prostate, uh, urethra. Comes all the way down, and. I didn't ask you to know the spongy parts of the, uh, uh, of the male rectum. That's about it. Oh, uh, I think in the testes, uh, maybe you should know seminiferous tubules and epididymis right here. Seminiferous tubules and epididymis. Okay, so I think I mentioned everything in here that you're supposed to know. Here it is uh, human development when uh, sperm enters the egg right here one uh, this is called zygote zygote becomes two cells by process of mitosis and I will talk about that and then becomes four cells eight cells 16 32 bunch of cells so it's bunch of cells like this and inside of it is full of cells that's morula okay when what happens when it multiplies, the cells are multiplying and multiplying and multiplying. When you have a ball of cell and inside of it is hollow, it's called blastocyst. So this is also another blastocyst. And when the cell starts invagination, when it starts folding inward right here, it's called gastula. Okay, so this is gastula, blastula, blastocyl, blastocyl, and that's about it. What is mitosis, which is happening here, right in the testes, meiosis occur. In the ovary, right here, meiosis occur. Different than, my, sorry, different than mitosis, okay? So, mitosis, sorry, let me go over the models here quickly. Uh, put them in order as um, I see them right here. They are uh, placed in order, and I'll bring them uh, right now. You do have all of these slides, okay. 
So what happens, you do have uh, one cell, okay, and the nucleus is inside, and then the nucleus, you can see that one, the orange ball inside of it, there are chromosomes. So when the cell get the signal, when you cut your hand, your skin is cut, and then the cells are growing back. You have a little baby at home growing taller and taller every day. The bone cells undergo mitosis. So what happens, the chromosome starts thickening up, the ball disappears right here, and this is called interface. That phase is not a phase of mitosis. This is interface, and then this is uh, S phase of interface when the chromosomes have divided and after that this is a prophase the chromosomes become thickened and the uh, centrioles have divided okay they are going to pull the chromosomes apart again this is another uh, prophase these two are prophase and then chromosomes line up in middle of the cell like that That's metaphase. So these two are both prophase. This is metaphase. And after that, it is anaphase, when the sister chromatids separate. The two green separated, the two yellow separated. So that is called anaphase. And then that anaphase, the next stage is um, telophase. Tele, it means finish, end. Okay. So there is a cleavage pharaoh here, and one ye blue in this one, one blue in that one, one yellow in that one, one yellow in that one, one green in this one, one green in that one, one yellow red in that one, and eventually these two cells that are gonna separate become like the original cell. So those are the stages of mitosis, and you do have a slide of these, and I hope 